talking about indentured servants, let me just add this. Poor white people, poor British people, were sent over to the colonies as indentured servants, and they were also traded. They were bought and sold as commodities. So different uh, plantation owners would trade different indentured servants. So that's a perspective on things which we've never been told. They've hidden from us the fact that white people who were indentured servants um, and indentured servants are akin to slaves. They were whipped, they were raped, they were brutalized, they ran away, uh, they were branded, and all of these things, as well as being bought and sold by their masters, is the same things that happen to what we call slaves. But it puts a different perspective on things, because if you know that the white British were treated in exactly the same way as the Africans, then surely your mind must shift. Because now you realize that it happened to them too. There was a time when the supply of endangered servants from the British Isles began to slow down. And this was around the 1680s. And Britain was the um, biggest, or one of the biggest slave traders in the world at this time. So because the supply of endangered servants had dried up, they then bought more Africans to the 13 colonies in order to work on the plantations. So because the British public stopped going to the Americas in the numbers which the plantation owners needed in order to do the labor, in order to do the work, in order to make the profits for the plantation owners. It was at that point they decided to bring in black people into the Americas to do the work. 